this specific theater right now. It's the Jones Theater, formerly the Court Theater. Right now, we're just doing restore work. The show just left, so we prep it for the next show. We restore it to what it used to look like. So there's glaze work done. There's more silver leaf. There's gold leaf. There's just intricate decorative mold work here, especially with Broadway theaters. You're going to notice that in any theater. No theater looks, there's no one alike. Everyone is different. I guess decorative painting is a lot of, uh, it's kind of labor intensive, so it's not like you just put something up. So it's like there's prep, there's base, there's, and then there's whatever your finish is, glaze and uh, leaf has like, you know, there's glue involved. And then there's like different finishes, like a uh, full wild marbleizing has different bases and there's more than one color. So it's a lot of steps. So it's not just, when I look at it, like I can see all the work that went into it. It wasn't just kind of sprayed on. Oh yeah, here in the in the theater here painting um, the columns. We got we got a lot of work here. I started doing graffiti in Puerto Rico in 1984. I came to New York. I was working with Task Crew in the Bronx doing murals. I would like to learn all the decorating um, techniques. You know, with my boss um, Joe Pastor here, um, he helping me out, and um, you know, I'm I'm here to learn. And, Every day you learn something new. Some people said, you know, shouldn't notice good lighting. It should just be good lighting. I just kind of feel like I like the work, but it should be part of an atmosphere. All the, all the different elements come together and you see it as one and that's what I like. Sometimes I'll send friends and they'll call me up, hey, we're one of your theaters that you just finished painting up. Great job, and they're sending me photos. But um, the amount of people that come see it, I never really thought about that number. Probably, I would say in the millions, probably. And it made me the person I am today, a man that I am today instilled great work skills, great, great work set, um, able to take care of family, do what, I'm, do what I have to do. I always tell my, the, the young kids out there to, you know, to become members of DC9, I always talk to them. It's a good trade and um, you know, it's a lot of opportunities here. I can't be so more grateful of, of DC9. Um, you know, I, I raised my family, um, you know, with the money that I got from DC9.